welcome back in listen second uh, listen second and we are going to resume the part second today and till the time we came to know that uh, all about nelson mandela how he struggled a lot in making his country free from apartheid and he was the person uh, came from in making his country free from the um, uh, white ruling over black and he wanted to make a single nation where all the people living in africa can amble over the single direction now we are going to resume the day uh, the day was symbolized for me by the playing of our two national anthem and vision of the white singing nikosi sikle africa and the black singing die stream the old anthem of the republic although that day neither group knew the lyric of the anthem they once despised they would soon know the words by heart what is happening here actually africa they were facing the racial discrimination whites were dominating the over the black this is was all about the exploitation um uh, blacks were completely getting deprived from all types of missions launched by government of africa but actually what is happening here the nelson nelson mandela when he became the president actually it was not all of sudden he became actually after the crushing all types of events that was laying in africa uh, such were laying in africa after crushing he became the president now this is all about his oath taking ceremony where he is surrounded by various gravity pull international leaders and in his oath taking ceremony he is telling blacks they were singing their national anthem the till the time the africa uh, has two national anthem and white are doing the same but actually they all were they all are not knowing the lyric that means rhythm and song of each other they are but they are trying to sing black of whites whites of black they all are singing actually once here uh, nelson mandela is saying once they all were despising that means hating they all were hating once but now they are not despised they are loving and what the rhythm they are not maintaining now further they will learn this is not all of sudden they will understand everything suddenly and gradually they will understand everything on the day of the inauguration i was overwhelmed with the sense of the history now some the events of history is flashing in his mind he is telling after getting such images images he is overwhelming that means he is completely pulling with a great excitement by his past events what the what what will happen in the country um, worldwide so actually he is not worldwide nation wide actually what he uh, here he is going to mention he is telling in the first decade of the 20th century first decade of 20th century this will be the duration of 1900 to 1910 this is the all over duration of 10 years he is telling in such years what happened a few years after after bitter uh, anglo boer war before my own birth he is also mentioning this duration a war has taken place this, the war was between anglo boer that means between africa and england and this event happened this war happened till the time mandela didn't found his existence on this beautiful planet now he is mentioning and white sea people of the south africa patched up their differences and the the elected a uh, system of the racial domination against the dark skin people of their own land what happened actually england where white having the white skin after seeing such of the domination the all the people of white skin people of africa they started 
uh, exploiting the black skin people. And here you have me to understand the word patch up. This is all about the installation. What he is telling, he is saying here, he is mentioning white skin people of South Africa patched up the domination. We step to the rule he had they uh, installed they install a domination rule of the domination exploiting the black making them deprived from the benefit now the structure they created formed the basis of one of the the harshest most inhuman society the world has never known he is mentioning here whatever they white started doing with black completely they were against the human beyond the humanity the people should not do they all were doing groups because whites they are also human beings blacks they are also human beings they all are the making a product of the same factory in spite of this here someone is getting discrimination other one is not getting this is not all about the equal right but mandela wanted to provide them all equal right further he is mentioning now in the last decade of the 19th century now they have reached the last decade of 19th century Now in the last decade of 20th century and my own 88 decades, not 19, 20th, that means like it will start from the 1992 to 2000. Never one, it will end here. <coughs> he mentioning, and he was till the time, a, he uh, age was under age, uh, in the 18 decade, that means almost he was 18 or if there be any doubt, then you can consider his age was around 18. That means here you can consider 80s. If you are not fixed with any number, you can give the round figure like you can say 80s. He is telling my own 18 decade as a man that system had been overturned forever and replaced by the by one that recognize the rights of the freedom of all people regardless of their color scheme what is happening here now he is telling it started in the decade in the first decade of 20th century and now this is the last decade of 20th century what the rules were find uh, were found by a black people and white people now all the rules are turned over no any negative rule existing now all there is all about complete changing here he is mentioning that that they had come about through the unimaginable sacrifice of the thousands of my people Mandela is telling this day has not come likewise this day has come it is only because many of our people that means many of the african people who were against this law is this rule this law apartheid and they wanted to punish such apartheid in such case they wanted to give their contribution and here they for getting the freedom they sacrificed their life People whose suffering and courage can never be counted or repaid. He is mentioning what they have, uh, what they have given for the Africa, for this beautiful country. We can't pay them back by any means. If even we will sacrifice our life in spite of this, we will not be in the condition of repay them. Now, he is mentioning it. I feel that 
that day and I have on so many, many other days that I was simply the sum of all, all those African patriots, patriots who had gone before me. He is telling who has who have gone before me. That means one who sacrificed themselves before my eyes. I have seen people dying. They are telling that that long uh, long and novel line ended and now began again with me. I was painted that I was not able to thank them and that they were not able to see what their sacrifices had round. Round is all about the former world working for work. Here he is mentioning what their sacrifices working today they are not alive to see. If they were alive today, then the moment we are seeing now would be more beautiful. So he is a very sorrowful for seeing this uh, scene. He is telling, uh, he is wishing that if they all people were alive today, it could be much better. Now going ahead. The policy of uh, apartheid created a deep and a lasting wound in my country and my people. He is mentioning apartheid, what the white people uh, had done over the black. This will not uh, go or omit very shortly because the wound is very deep. All of will spend many years, if not generation, recovering from that profound hurt. He is telling they are what they have uh, done with us. Actually, such problem, such image that what the image are in our mind will not end shortly. Even it will go. It our next generation will come to know about this condition and gradually it will end all of sudden it will not going to be finished now next but the decades of the pro um, oppression and the brutality had brought the unintended effect and that was that the produce the oliver thambos walter sisulus the Chief Lithulis, the Yusuf Dadu, the Bram Hissers, the Robert Subukes of our time. He is mentioning they all are the great fighters. And because of such domination, they all people came in the existence. Now we are knowing our freedom fighter of India. It was they uh, have come in the existence, it was only because the India was under the British rule. Same situation happening in the Africa now. They, all the people have come into existence, it was only because of the for, for the fighting over such rules. Now he is mentioning the Robert here, man of such extraordinary and carriage, who uh, wisdom and the generosity that their life may, may never be known again. He is telling that what they have done for us, we are, and they for the with uh, for the for making or in making country free, we can't forget such person. Perhaps it requires such a depth of the operation to create such heights of the character. My country is rich in the minerals and the gems that lie beneath its soil, but I have always known that its greatest wealth is the people fine, finer and truer that are purest diamond. He is mentioning that Africa is rich in the mine. You know there are mine of diamonds and there are mines of gold in Africa. President is telling there that all the mines they are nothing for us. Our true mines are people living here. If they will not get the this good status and nice ambience in Africa, then what is important of such wealth? Such wealth will cost nothing. In such case, we have need to give the importance of people as he is telling wealth is wealth is nothing for me and for Africa. People living in the in the in the country, they are everything for us. If they will alive, if they will get the benefit then they will bring their 
knowledge into use and after that country will go develop thank you dear students now we are going to complete the part second and rest portion we are going to uh, mention in the and uh, discuss in the part third.